examination of ear before we start the ear examination we first go through some general examination that is make the patient comfortable examiner should maintain the hygienic level take the history of patient explain the full procedure to the patient and obtain the patient consent this is some basic process which should follow before any examination procedure example abdominal examination chest examination and etc now the general examination of ear in this if our patient wearing anything in ear advise the patient to remove it next is pain ask the patient about pain means type of pain position of pain and etc ask the patient for giving a smile to examine the facial nerves and facial expression of the patient check for any type of asymmetry blunt trauma congenital facies specific abnormalities like discharge vex presence polyp and etc examination procedure it can be done by two method physical examination and functional examination physical examination it include pinna pre and post auricular region external auditory canal tympanic membrane middle ear and mastoid process first pinna it is outside part of ear examined by inspection and palpation things should be noted here as size shape and position of pinna in size macrocia and microcia condition macrocia means large in size and microcia means small in size in shape congenital and acquired deformities like from injury and uh, cauliflower ear and etc position change in mastoid abscess case it is outside part of ear around the pinna it is also examined by inspection and palpation during examination we should note any type of scar sinuses swelling previous surgery scar and trigger tenderness external auditory canal also called eac to examine eac we should push the pinna upward backward and outward to straighten the bony and cartilaginous canal it may show swelling polyp vex discharge and etc next is otoscopic examination for this we use a speculum speculum is gently introduced with rotatory movement in ear canal in this picture you may see speculum is introduced only up to the cartilaginous portion that is one third of canal because touching the bony portion is ex extremely painful thing should be noted here is vex debris discharge polyp and etc by the help of otoscope double magnified view of tympanic membrane can be seen while examination otoscope should be held for right ear in right hand and for left ear examination in left hand normal tympanic membrane pearly white in color semi transparent obliquely set at the medial end tympanic membrane have some landmarks let's see in this picture first ambu this is ambu second handle of malus this is the handle of malus third anterior and posterior molecular fold there is anterior molecular fold and there is a posterior molecular fold fourth is annulus at the circumferent and fifth is the cone of flight this is some landmark which show in tympanic membrane this two more important marking that is pars tensa area this is whole pars tensa central area and the pars flaccida area at the superior next in the tympanic membrane we should note any type of perforation examiner should note any type of perforation if the perforation is in pars tensa region then it is called to be central perforation now the types of perforation first we discuss central perforation it is four in number small moderate large and subtotal 
all are safe type of perforation in small only one quadrant is involved moderate two quadrant is involved large three and more quadrant is involved in subtotal all the part of tympanic membrane means part tensor area is involved except annulus region next is marginal perforation also called total type of perforation because in this the annulus area also get perforated it is unsafe type of perforation next is atic perforation it is superior part of tympanic membrane is affected it is unsafe type of perforation middle ear where's the three ossicle bones are present normally middle ear cannot be examined directly by otoscope instrument it can be examined when membrane is transparent or clear some structure can be seen through it sometimes fluid behind the eardrum or tympanic membrane is present which cause disease by contact with infected bodies or foreign bodies example acute and chronic suppurative otitis media now the mastoid process mastoid process can be examined by pulling the pinna forward examiner should note swelling abscess fistula and tenderness tenderness of mastoid may notice in three point first mastoid tip second simba conca and third root of zygoma mastoid tip should be examined in behind the ear simba conca by pressing it between helix and anterior helix area it first responds to mequin strangle and then simba conca third is root of zygoma it should be examined by pressing in front of tragus it mainly seen in mastoiditis condition so we complete our physical examination thank you so much